This is Movie Tone, Jeffrey Sumner reporting. M1, Britain's first motorway, is the beginning of a new deal for drivers on the country's alarmingly congested roads. Linking London and Birmingham, it offers a high-speed, time-saving route. Incidentally, it's said to be the longest stretch of new road built in Britain since the Roman occupation. Motorists will be the first to agree that it hasn't come a moment too soon. M1 aims to relieve the old A5, previously the main route for heavy traffic between London and the Midlands. Whether lorry drivers will all enjoy changing over from A5 to M1 remains to be seen. What about their pull-ins? Maybe the cafe owners are apprehensive. They must feel the draft if drivers prefer the fast route on the new motorway. Anyway, the opening of M1 was great news, and the new Minister of Transport, Mr. Ernest Marples, was there to open it. Now, sir, this motorway starts a new era in road travel. It is in keeping with the bold, exciting, and scientific age in which we live. Now, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I declare the road open. A small ceremony, but a big event. And traffic was soon taking this opportunity of trying out a new experience in British road travel. A new experience, yes, but of course not every car is in condition for sustained high speed. Not every driver realizes just what it implies. Many breakdowns were reported on the first day, but there are excellent facilities to deal with these. And with accidents. And on the subject of accidents, Mr. Marples had a word of warning to all high-speed motorists. It will bring immense benefits if drivers use discipline, common sense, and obey the rules. But disaster and tragedy may descend on those who drive recklessly or selfishly. For on this magnificent road, the speed which can easily be reached is so great that senses may be numbed and judgment warped. 